I'm gonna make my Cape Cod chopped salad. It's gonna be delicious. Dried cranberries make it Cape Cod. I love all the big, bold flavors of the things from the farm. Of course, you can buy arugula at the grocery store. You need about eight ounces for the salad. I actually love composed salads like this because you can really throw anything in that you like. I always go into the pantry and go, mm, that would be good in this. That's how this salad came about. So the arugula, I just cut it in pieces. Half a cup of dried cranberries. Just toss them all in. And I've toasted some walnuts. It's about a half a cup of toasted walnuts. I toast them because when they're crisp, they really have that sort of walnut flavor. Just a big rough chop, right on top. I'm gonna assemble all the pieces and then make a vinaigrette. Next, an apple. Granny Smith apple from my farm box. I'm just gonna peel it and chop it. Granny Smith apple's great because it's really tart, but if you have another apple, you can use really any apple you like. Just get a big, big chop. I don't like things too finely diced. I really want to just know they're there. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, next is blue cheese. I'm gonna use Roquefort because I love it. I need about six ounces of crumbled blue cheese. Roquefort is French sheep's milk cheese. So just give it a chop and then crumble it a little bit. What a great combination is it's sweet and piquant and peppery. It's got everything going for it in this salad. So for the vinaigrette, I want a really fresh flavor. So because of the apples in the salad, I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. About three tablespoons. Okay, then I need two and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I want this to have lots of flavor. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, about a teaspoon of grated orange zest. And if you do it right into the bowl, you get all of the oils into the salad dressing. Okay, and then orange juice. Okay, I'm just gonna approximate. This is the kind of salad dressing you just wanna taste to make sure it's right. Fantastic. Okay, lots of salt and pepper. The vinaigrette has to be really highly seasoned. Because remember, it's just going to coat the lettuce. Give it a whisk, and then two thirds of a cup of olive oil. The mustard actually acts as an emulsifier, so if you pour it in really slowly, it'll emulsify the dressing. Yeah, okay, that should do it. Just taste it, make sure it's right. Mmm, it's great. Really taste the maple syrup. You can taste the mustard, and the apple and orange. Just pour it right over, just enough to moisten it, but not soak it. Give it a big toss, and then I have one more thing to put in, something salty and crunchy. A little bacon that I roasted at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. That's the last thing I put in. When I'm testing recipes, this is usually just about the time that my assistant Barbara shows up. It's lunchtime. I think this is gonna be really good. Just make sure it's good. Mmm, peppery arugula. Vinaigrette's really good, it's sort of sweet and tart. This is definitely one of my favorite salads.